Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with another bonus lovely. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Cancer. Topic of the reading is, do they love you? Whoever it is that you're dealing with, who you really love and you have a strong feeling for, but you don't know if this person loves you back or not, this reading will definitely help you know that. And um, I will be adding new messages from your person and we will also be adding some more good cards. So stay tuned and uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonates and leave the rest. For personal needs, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So yeah, let's dive into the reading. Let's see. <clears throat> Do they love you? Cancer, let's see. The moon. Eight of Cups. Four of Pentacles. The High Priestess. Underneath the deck, we do have Five of Swords. Wow. Um, I really feel like, you know, your person is hiding a lot. They have a lot that they are not revealing to you. Emotions um, could be other things as well. Like, you know, I feel like, you know, they are very trying to be um, dominant on everything. They're trying to be very uh, practical in many varied ways, I would say, because I really feel like you know, this person is not revealing what they're actually feeling for you. Now, I feel like you know, for a majority of you, this person is uh, hiding a lot from you right now. Um, it's, it's more like they're not ready to unfold. They're not ready to share. They're not ready to express. So for a majority of you, you are living in a kind of like, um, you're dealing with a person who's hiding and keeping secrets from you. Um, and it's not about just love. It's not about just you and them. It's more like they, they don't share at all anything with you. Um, it's what's going on in their personal life, what's going on with their family life, what's going on in their you know everyday routine. You know nothing. So you could be dealing with somebody who is holding themselves back from this connection completely. Um, I feel like you know, for majority of you, you could be having lack of communication and the connection as well. Maybe this person is somebody that you love. Uh, probably you have also never expressed your feelings to them. It could be that case scenario for some of you as well. But I feel like you know this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, uh, they have a lot of struggles going on in their personal life. So if you ask me, do they love you? I feel like you know, this person is not in that position where they're going to think of love, relationships that that you would want them to think of. I feel like you know they really have a um, strong connect with you, but it's not love. Uh, I feel like you know, it's more of um, uh, you know them trying to restrict themselves all the time. I feel like you know it's not love, but I feel like you know your person has a lot of mental, physical, emotional blocks uh, when it comes to this connection that they have with you. Um, they don't have much time to think about it right now. I really don't think that this person has love at all for you. There could be emotional connect that they feel towards you, but at the same time, it is not enough. It is not enough for them to come to you, express their feelings, emotions at all, because it's, it's more like um, they do feel a connect, but they're very cold towards you. They're very cold towards, you know, this connection that they have with you. And that is the reason why they are not sharing anything with you. So if you have been hopeful around this person, I feel like, you know, you are doing wrong to yourself by putting yourself on the waiting side for a person like this, especially if you are in no contact situation, especially if this person is not responding, replying to you, especially if this person is ignoring you. I feel like, you know, that connect that they have for you is very um well it's, it's it's more like you know you are the least priority for this person and it's it's not because of you it's because of them they have a lot of stuff going on in their personal life that they have no time to think about a loving relationship now if you choose to wait for a person like this that's your fault because i feel like you know even if you have feelings for you you have to prioritize yourself you have to look um into the matter with the with the perspective that you you are somebody who deserves love to who deserves respect to if this person ignores you neglects you doesn't give into a connection and keeps you on the waiting side holding themselves back from giving into the connection i feel like you know you cannot complain and blame this person because it's more like you know if you don't you know if your shoe if if your feet doesn't you know fit in a shoe you don't complain about the shoe you know to the shoe you change your your shoes 
you don't do anything much about it you just change the shoe now you are trying to keep this connection going or hoping for it to fit in um you, you know to, to fix everything i feel like you know that's you doing wrong to yourself you just need to kind of like you know the more you try to uh, fit in that particular shoe which is not like you know fit on you then i feel like you know it's you choosing to stay in that situation hurting your feet for, by doing so you have to understand that being on the waiting side for this person is not going to get you anything so they do have a connect with you but it's not love it's definitely not love um they they might start having feelings for you that's another thing but as of now there's a lot of stuff going on that you are unaware of so i would not recommend you to wait on for this person and um, because because i feel like you know um probably you're craving for justice in your love life and i feel like you know the best justice that you can do to yourself is by you choosing to pull yourself out of this person and this connection i feel like you know you probably have given a lot already into the connection it's time for you to break free uh from this person i really don't see this connection heading anywhere anytime soon so if you still choose to wait on for him or her it's your call but let's see how what is it that they want to say to you right now <clears throat> Whoever it is that you're dealing with, who seems kind of cold towards you. Uh, let's see, what do they want to say to you? They, they really want you to know that I know that there this connection is there. If I want, I can take it, but I'm not ready to take it. So they, they are aware of the fact that you are, you know, I feel like you know, they already have that connect with you, but at the same time, they are not pursuing this connection. Um, they really want you to know that... Um, I'm not prepared for a loving relationship right now. I like the bond that we share, but I really don't want to pursue it right now. If and when I am ready, I am probably going to look into it. But as of now, I am walking away. So for majority of you, I feel like a new person has either pushed you away or they have, uh, you know, pulled themselves away from you. Now, do they plan to come forward someday? I feel like you, know, you will have to wait for, for long enough before before this person can ever offer you something so it's your call your decision do you want to still wait on for them or not but i really don't see this person in a loving way interested in you at all right now in the given situation let's see the oracle guidance for you in the given moment with the situation with your person uh choices feeling blocked and restrained i feel like you know if you're feeling blocked and restrained in your love life for this person i feel like you know that's your choice to stay in that situation for more or you don't want to stay in that situation for more i feel like you know if you have a choice um you know whether you want to stick around or whether you want to move on i would suggest you to move on and for majority of you your love life is blocked because you're keeping yourself on the waiting side for this person this person probably have not even asked you to wait on for them but if you are feeling blocked restrained in any possible way then i feel like it's high time that you move on because the more you're going to feel lack of happiness in your life the more you're going to push the good things away from your life so if you feel like you know moving on can help you heal and move forward with your life and um, you know that can bring you happiness as well i feel like you, know, you should go ahead and do that um for very few of you maybe as you choose to move on this person might give in but that's not the you know solid enough justified reason enough to keep you on the waiting side for this person i feel like it's very important for for you to understand where your happiness lies but i feel like you know waiting on for this person is really not the right thing for you to do so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read if it was of help do like and subscribe and um if you are willing to purchase any of the services that I offer, check the description box. You can also check out the bonus services that I'm offering, uh, which, are, which are listed in the community post. You can check that as well. So yeah, uh, till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. Bye.